Hello everybody, my name is Antonina Brilkova. Today is Saturday and I'll tell you the fairy tale about three little pigs. Once upon a time there was an old pig and three little pigs. And one day she said to them, My children, it's time for you to go out in the world and seek your fortunes. So, bidding their mother goodbye, the three little pigs set out to earn their livings. The first little pig, whose name was Whitey, met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, Please, mister, will you give me that straw to build a house with? The man gave Whitey the straw and he built himself the house with it. Presently, a wolf came along and knocked at the door of Whitey's house. Little pig, little pig, he said, let me come in. But of course, Whitney didn't want the wolf come in, so he said, Now, now, by the hair on my chinny chin chin. This made a wolf angry and he said, Then I'll puff and I'll huff and I'll blow your house in. So he puffed and he huffed and he blew the house in. And he carried poor little white away to his home in the forest. The second little pig, whose name was Blackie, met a man carrying some wood. And he said to him, Please, mister, will you give me the wood to build a house with? The man gave Blackie the wood and he built himself a house with it. But along came the wolf and knocked at the door of Blackie's house. Little pig, little pig, he said, let me come in. Now, now, replied Blackie in great fright, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll puff, I'll huff, and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf puffed and he huffed, and at last he blew the house in. And away he went with Blackie, with his home in the forest. Now the third little pig, whose name was Brownie, met a man with a load of bricks, and he said to him, Please, mister, will you give me those bricks to build a house with? The man gave him bricks and Brownie built himself a very snug little house with them. He had just finished his house when the wolf came alone. Little pig, little pig, he said, let me come in. Now and now by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll puff, I'll huff and I'll blow the house in. But though the wolf puffed and he huffed, and he huffed and he puffed, he could not blow down Brownie's house made of bricks. So he said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnip. Where? asked Brownie. Over in Mr. Smith's field. If you will be ready tomorrow morning, I will call for you and we will go together to get some for dinner. Very well, answered Brownie. I will be ready. What time do you want to go? Around six o'clock, answered the wolf. Well, do you know that smart little pig got up at five o'clock and went out and got the turnips and was back home before the wolf came at six o'clock. When the wolf found the brownie had been to Mr. Smith's field before him, he was very angry. He had wondered how he could catch him. So he said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice little orchard. Where? asked brownie. Down at Mary Garden, replied the wolf. I will go with you tomorrow morning at five o'clock and we will get some apples. But Brownie hustled and bustled around and went the next morning at four o'clock to the apple orchard. This time 
he had father to go and had to climb the tree so that just as he was getting down with the apples in the basket he saw the wolf coming of course he was frightened when the wolf came up to the tree he said to brownie oh i see you're here before me are they very nice apples yes indeed replied brownie here i will throw one down to you and he threw the apple so far that while the wolf was running to pick it up the little pig jumped down from the tree and ran home now the wolf was very very hung hungry and angry and he thought and thought and finally thought of a plan to catch the little pig coming to his house the next morning he said little pig there is a fair in town this afternoon will you go oh yes replied brownie i will be very glad to go what time will, will you want me to be ready at three o'clock said the wolf but brownie went off to the fair at one o'clock and bought a great big copper kettle alas on the way home with the kettle he saw the wolf coming up the hill poor little brownie didn't know what to do and then suddenly he jumped into the copper kettle and gave himself a push and the kettle went rolling over and over with the little pig in it when the wolf saw the kettle coming rolling towards him he was so frightened that he turned and ran back home without going to the fair the next day he stopped at the little pig's house and told him how frightened he had been by a great shining thing that had rolled down the hill towards him then brownie laughed and laughed and said to the wolf ha i fright frightened you mr wolf i had been to the fair and bought a copper carol and when i saw you coming i got into it and rolled down the hill this made the wolf so very angry and he jumped up on the roof on the little pig's house and started to climb down the chimney. When Brownie saw this, he made a blazing fire in the fireplace and hung the copper kettle over it for all scalding water. And just as the wolf came down the chimney, the little pig pulled off the cover of the kettle and plop into the scalding water fell the wolf so brownie boiled the wolf and then went out and rescued his two brothers whitey and blackie from the forest where the wolf had been keeping them and they all lived happily together in the little brick house forever afterwards if you like my fairy tale, please put some up. See you next Saturday. Goodbye. Have a nice day.